You've come to fight as three men. And three men you are. What will you do without freedom? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Godly Potential YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to become more positive. How to become a positive person. Okay. Before I dive into how to become a more positive person, let me first talk about why you may be a negative person or why it is so easy for you to become a negative person. Why are the majority of people you come across negative and pessimistic? Why is this? Well, the first reason is because of programming from our ancestors. Okay? From ancient times, it's within our DNA from ancient times. Tribes were programmed to... Um, hold negative events or pieces of information in higher regard than good information. Why is this? Why is that you can have all this good shit happen to you, but one negative thing happening, you do it on negative? It's because from ancient times, it would be who of our ancestors to hold on to the negative information longer <clears throat> Because the negative information is what could potentially keep them alive, keep them safe, keep them out of harm's way, right? If they heard a tragic story about one of their family members, relatives, or friends from the tribe eating this plant or berry and having to be poisonous and died from it, it would be who of your ancestor to remember that. More importantly than it would be to remember that one of the, the the youngsters in the group did something and they fell or something that was hilarious. Because knowing that that fruit, that plant or whatever was eaten could potentially kill others. And it's going to hurt the tribe. Right? And losing members of the tribe makes them weaker. Why? Because the smaller they get, the more easy it is for a warring tribe or a opposing tribe to come in and wipe them out and take over everything okay so that is why and with that before I jump the gun with that that programming that was within our ancestors through evolution is still within us but only now is not as useful as it was for them why because we're not hunters we're not gatherers some of us are hunters, but we're not doing that as a means of necessity. Like, we have to do it. It's necessary that we go out and hunt and gather. No. Now it's like hobbies, or some people it's a way of life. But the majority of us, it's not necessary. Okay? So that is why the majority of people you meet are negative. That is why you may be negative. As well as because that is what it's being fed to us. Watch the news. If you watch the news, I advise you not to watch the news. I know I just said to watch the news. But if you're watching the news, you may or may not notice. You probably don't notice. But 98% of the shit that they cover in the news is negative stuff. Right? The other 1% is like the weather. And the other 1% is like some semi-positive shit or some neutral shit right but even the positive or neutral shit is it may even invoke like negativity within you because you may say why did this motherfucker win the person of the year over this person or you know what i'm saying or this person gets um praise for doing this and he was like that's a crooked person right so the news is the majority of it is negative Okay. It's starting to get better because TV is dying and like the computer 
or the internet is, is, is like taking over, right? Majority of people don't have cable in their homes anymore. They have Netflix, um, Hulu, and YouTube and all that good stuff, right? So if you're watching the news, be advised that that is programming you to be more negative. Not only that, but the negative show that you may be tuning into, like my, excuse me, like my parents, they watch the first 48 and these crime shows and shit. And it can be cool in moderation, but when you watch it all day long and you fall asleep watching it, it's programming your subconscious mind, like, it's not good, right? You become more paranoid. You start seeing people as being just fucked up people because... On that show, it's somebody died. They're trying to figure out who killed them. You feel, or like all these crazy shows, who the bleep and not marry. Um, all these crazy ass shows, right? It's programming you to see humans in a negative light, whether you know this or not. Okay, so that is why you are negative, or may be negative, or may wonder why the majority of people you come across are negative. So now we got that shit out the way. How to become more positive, hmm? How to become more positive. Okay. I written, I wrote it down here on a piece of paper, so I'm looking down periodically to read off of it. Okay. So I got five things, five ways to become more positive today, right? <laughs> the first thing you want to do to become more positive is you want to program your day as well as your subconscious mind. What I mean by this? Upon waking up, program your day. Wake up, swing your feet on the side of the bed, put a flat on the floor, have your back straight. You can have a slight bend in. Just, just relax, relax your shoulders, relax your whole body, right? Let your head just fall as it may. Close your eyes, hands on your thighs, and envision your day playing out. <clears throat> envision each step. As in much detail as possible. Envision yourself getting out of this visualization or meditation, right? Envision yourself walking to the bathroom, doing this, doing whatever. If you're going to the gym before work, do that and like see yourself doing these actions, right? But mainly what you want to do is program your day running smoothly. Program you completing all your tasks effortlessly, right? Program people responding to you in a positive way, okay? Program or envision yourself attracting to you shit that you want right that's the first thing that's how you program your day how do you program the subconscious mind and why do you want to program the subconscious mind well first the subconscious mind is what governs everything that you have in your life at this present moment everything that's in your life all the circumstances in your life you attract it from your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is extremely powerful. Okay. It's that part of you that speaks to the universe. Right. That is why. Let's say. Um, let's say the conscious mind. Wants to. Okay let's say. <clears throat> you're approaching a dog right. And. Deep down you're scared of this dog. Right. But you try to act like you're not scared, right? You try to command it to do something. And it doesn't fucking listen. Why? Because it's not congruent. Because the subconscious mind is like, <laughs> I'm terrified. But the conscious mind is trying to fake it till it makes it, right? Because it emits the energy, okay? And Tesla said, if you want to understand the universe, think of it in terms of vibrations, frequencies, and energies. That is a universal language. So what's in your subconscious mind is communicating to the universe. And the universe doesn't care about good or bad, it's simply responding to your subconscious frequency. It's responding to it, okay? What I mean by this is what frequency you're emitting is what you're gonna get back, okay? As well as the shit you say and the shit you think. Because they both carry frequencies and energy. So, you're pretty much playing ping pong with the universe. Based on your subconscious mind and the frequency that you're in. 
So you throw at it positive or a higher vibration, a higher frequency, the universe is going to throw that back to you, right? And so on and so forth. Okay? No. So how do you program the subconscious mind? <clears throat> so the first 15 to 20 minutes upon waking up and going to sleep, the subconscious mind is most impressionable. With that being said, this is when you're going to run a program. Mon you're going to use mantras and affirmations and things of this nature as well as visualization and vision boards and things of that nature. So what is a mantra? What is an affirmation? It's basically a saying that you repeat over and over. You can say, I am positive, I am positive, I am positive, I am positive. You keep saying it over and over. You can take Mahler beads just like these. You can go through, I believe it's 144 beads. You can go through each each bead you pass in your hand. You can say, I am. I am positive. I am positive. I am positive, I am positive, or I am abundant, I am love, I am courageous, whatever, whatever it is, you're doing this, and this program your subconscious mind, okay, that's that, that's number one, number two, do something that you enjoy every day, you know how your day-to-day -day schedule, you have certain things programmed into it, if you do have a schedule, well, if you don't have programmed in your schedule at least five times a week, something that you enjoy doing, that you look forward to doing, let's say the bike riding. If you really enjoy bike riding, if someone asked you when the last time you rode your bike, it shouldn't be, man, it's been a minute or well, it's been a couple months. No, it should be, oh, the other day. Because you need to do shit routinely, like pretty frequently that you enjoy doing because it's going to raise your frequency it's going to raise your vibration it's going to make you a more positive person because you're doing shit that you enjoy doing you're probably already going to a job that you don't like right probably around a bunch of people you don't like right <laughs> some of us don't even like being on this fucking earth not in the sense of that you want to die but in the sense of like what the fuck is wrong with all you motherfuckers okay so do something every single day, at least five times a week, that you enjoy doing, okay? Program that into your fucking schedule. Alright, number three. You gotta hang around positive people. If you hang around negative people, you're gonna become negative, right? There's a saying, I'm probably gonna butcher it, but it says, um, if a pigeon hang around a bunch of crows, eventually, the pigeon... The feathers won't go dark, it won't go black, but the inside of it will, right? You you become the people that you hang around. So if you hang around a bunch of negative, cynical, pessimistic people, or they like to call themselves realists nowadays, you're going to become one of them. And it's going to be hard for you to be positive around them because they're going to look at you like you're insane, right? If you got four, in, four lunatics, four insane cats hanging around, one sane individual, Eventually, that same individual is going to become a lunatic, or those lunatics are going to outcast that same individual, make them feel like they're they're wrong, which will ultimately make them eventually become a lunatic as well. Okay, so hang around more positive people. Don't be afraid to walk alone, because you won't be alone for long, right? Number four. So if you're headed to, okay, I'm going to do that number five. So number four, you want to see the silver lining in things, right? Like the shit that happens to you, it may be negative, but you want to look at it in a positive light, okay? You want to try to see the good in it. Most of the time, you can always find this good aspect of things. Of Okay, that setback is just redirected me to put me on my path. I grew stronger from that, or I learned what not to do, okay? Typically, you can find those three in every situation, right? That's when it's like something tough to deal with, right? Like, recently, my older brother passed away, right? And it's fucking tough, i tell you that right now. It's still fucking tough, especially because it's so recent, right? But me trying to be just... Because I've been programmed to be a pretty optimistic individual, 
I look at it like, well, I believe that we all came down here with a specific purpose. And when it's our time to leave, it's our time to leave. Somebody can 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 get shot like nine times, like 50 cent, right, and live. One person can, I don't know, slip and fall, and that's it. Game over, right? Time to recycle back here. Okay? So, I choose to look at shit in a positive light. Or saying, um, or choosing to look at it in a way of, his death is going to awaken something in somebody else, right? It's going to do this to this person, okay? It may not make sense right now, but it will in the future. That's how I choose to look at it. So look for the silver line. That was four. And the fifth thing, the fifth thing, number five, is listen to more comedy, okay? If you don't listen to come, <laughs> I was going to say commodity. If you don't listen to comedy, <clears throat> I invite you to begin listening to comedy. If you already do, listen to your favorite comedian on your way to work, all right? When you're in the morning, you're doing shit you really don't want to do. Put on some Dave Chappelle or some Cat Williams or some uh, Mike Epps or, I mean, I only know black comedians, to be honest with you. <laughs> some, uh, some Kevin Hart, right? Whoever your favorite comedian is, put them on <clears throat> to their stand up. If you if you're looking for some new stuff, you haven't heard of it. A guy named Ricky Smiley. He does prank calls. Like look, type it in YouTube. Ricky Smiley prank calls. Oh man, that shit's hilarious to me. Listen to that. It's what it's gonna do. It's gonna get you laugh. It's gonna put you in a higher frequency. Man, listen to comedians. It's gonna make you funnier because you're gonna learn how to deliver a certain joke. You're gonna learn. Um, pauses you just you're gonna learn how to be more funny okay <clears throat> and if you're more funny you can bring laughter to wherever you're at it's gonna raise the frequency of others okay then more people want to be around you right and that way you can attract more positive people okay so that my friends is how you become more positive it was five steps recap first Program your day in your subconscious mind. Okay? Second, do something you enjoy doing at least five times a week. Program it into your fucking schedule. Three, hang around more positive people. Okay? Four, find the silver lining in all the circumstances, all the situations in your life. It may, it will be difficult for some, some, some tough things. But just look for that silver lining. If you look for it, you'll find it. Just like right now, if I tell you right now, pick out, point out all the shit red in your room right now. Or wherever you're wherever you're watching the video from. Point it all. I mean, show show me or name all the red shit in the room. Or wherever you're at. Okay. Now that you got that, now tell me. Name two things you started with blue without looking it's going to be more difficult why is that because you're going to find what you're looking for in fact you probably even seen shit that wasn't even really red but you're going to name it red just because you want to right you're going to you're going to find the red in it you're like oh that's kind of that's kind of burgundy but i'm gonna just call it red right because you can find positive shit or you can find shit that's not even it right but you're going to find it because you're looking for it same thing when it comes with Positive stuff. If you look for positive, you're going to find positive. Look for civil lines, you're going to find civil lines. If you look for negativity, you're going to find it, my friends. Okay? Number five. Laugh more. Listen to comedians. Okay? Listen to stand up. Listen to your favorite comedians on the way to work or cleaning up, doing shit you don't enjoy doing. Listen to comedy. Right? It's medicine for the soul. But that's all I got for you. How to be a more positive person. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you feel like this video can help with this, share it. If you haven't already, subscribe. Until next time, I'm out. Thanks. You've come to fight as three men. And three men you are.
What will you do without freedom? <laughs>